a brief trip into the future with inventor Maxwell Chikumbuzo. He's claiming a scientific breakthrough with this green energy technology, an electric car which he says converts radio frequencies into energy. At the powertrain, we did it in-house, which makes it the first electric vehicle in the world that drives without needing recharging systems. On the greener power off-grid machine, it's very unique for the first time uh, energy is being generated uh, using a radio frequency and without moving paths. Chikumbutso is not the typical scientist. He dropped out of school aged 14 and says he's developed his blueprints through research and visions from God. A showroom in Harare showcases his prototypes. A helicopter that operates using any one of the five fuels, including paraffin, a drone and a household transformer that he says can multiply power a hundredfold. But he says breaking his disruptive technology into the world has not been easy. He's failed to patent his work. That's why we end up finding nuclear scientists, electromagnetic professors, so that they can assist us on the patent process. But as you are aware that in, in patents, anything that violates the laws of physics is not an industrial applicable solution. They classify it as a perpetual motion device. Luis Kupenala, a South African-based Angolan businessman, has poured millions into the project, but now believes it's time to commercialize. He says the Angolan government and a Brazil private energy player have signed up to buy some of their products, but that other investors don't generally believe anything credible can come out of Africa. We from our skin color. We don't believe on ourselves. But obviously a, a new generation has another responsibility to change this kind of paradigm to another level whereby we have to capitalize on our abilities in Africa. Zimbabwean scientists who spoke to the SABC also expressed skepticism, but Chikumbutso brushes the naysayers aside. He says he's determined to ensure that his God-given gift brings energy to light up the continent and put Zimbabwe on the technological map. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.